I'm Tara Oracle, and this is the Compendium of Witches Oracle. Just got it in, just got it in by, I guess, Natasha. You get a sticker, and this was a Kickstarter. You get their business card, which you can read right there, and you also get a little thank you note. Oh, that is so sweet. A little thank you note with the owl, which is one of the cards. Now, before we open it up, this, this, this is a, uh, here's the back of the box. It's a hardbound box. So the, the problem with this is that it is a rough material on a rough material. So pulling, <clears throat> pulling this off is, is quite a chore. You do have a very high friction surface against another high friction surface. So if you're gonna be taking it in and out of the box a lot, that could be a bit of a pain. Let's look at the cards. Here is the back of the cards. Everybody loves the back of the cards. And uh, we got about half green and half white. Just sort of a preview here. Let's look at this. Luckily, there's no order for this. It is an Oracle deck. The first card is the Listener. Very pretty. I like the moon reference. We have a view of sort of a symbolism on the back end there. It's kind of nice. Cardstock is really thin really uh, thin so it feels sturdy but thin if that makes any sense at all but yeah it's not going to be 350 gsm or anything like that it doesn't feel like it at least all right the next card is the priestess another very cute one i like it and the oracle i mean it is an oracle you might as well have an oracle card to fall back on there we go there is your oracle card the wind rider Hmm, interesting. I like that. I like the details on the bird. And the shapeshifter, another one. A lot of details. A lot of details on the grass as well. I like the root system that goes with the tree. That had to be quite some time to get that all prepared. And the scholar. Huh, sort of interesting there. I like the scrolls and whatnot. Sort of reading the scrolls, getting a little education there with a bunch of smoke going on in the background. Then we have the Stargazer. I like the, the muted blue for the night. It looks very cool. Uh, the, the graphics on the, um, the tablecloth is kind of cool as well. Then we have the Veil Walker. So, it's sort of interesting. Bit of a misty at the bottom. And the Guardian. Very pretty. But sort of a, um, a, sort of a watercolor slash pastel look. To some of these, the folds on the clothes is great. Is great, very pretty. All right, and the Wayfarer. Got a cute card there. I like the little bonus thing, sort of a little satchel that they're carrying along. A lot of nice detail on the grass in the background as well. The Mystic, I love the facial expression. This person is good at getting faces and uh, doing facial expressions. They definitely sort of reflect the feel. That is a nice looking pattern on there. I'm not sure, is that Photoshop that looks like it? We have a repeating pattern here. But yeah, sort of interesting. The artist, the artist. Like the little vegetation in the background too. The seer. There is some nice variation in the cards as we're sort of looking through here. The window details, great. That's a lot of good stuff here. All right, then the alchemist. Very cool, very cool. A lot of cool details on the back. Again, sort of this very pastel look. Memory, a bit of a ghoul. A bit of a ghoul there. And the shaman, one of my favorite characters in World of Warcraft. The, you know, you get an elemental shaman, that's all you really need in the group, especially in some of the earlier expansions. Reconciler, ooh, I like the mist coming out that sort of gets in front of the moonlight. That is nice. All right. And the Storyteller. Oh, it's a little strength card. It's got the strength feel to this card, doesn't it? I like it. Very cute. And I like the yellows in the background. Sort of gives it that muted look. And the Healer, another one. You know, sort of cuddling with the wolf. I like that. Could be Nymeria. Could be Nymeria. Or a ghost or whatever. Uh, the Laborer. Sort of working hard. Getting a little Three of Pentacles feel in there. You know what I mean? And the Explorer, I like it. 
Interesting. Sort of in it, sort of a uh, 1900s explorer. And the hermit, we're back to, you know, traditional meanings here. Hermit and has a little strength cuddling with the fox. The soothsayer, kind of an interesting feel with that, especially with the, uh, I guess it's a pelican. Anyway, and then the weaver. I really like the weaver. It looks pretty cool. I like the sort of the separation between the rocks. It's got sort of that traditional artistic quality to where you have the different things, the bordering uh, objects that keep your eye from going out. I like that. The preserver. Seems like a little bit of a librarian there. And then unbound. Unbound. You have no limits. You have no limits. You are unbound. And the companion. There we go. It's got a crow bringing some nesting material. I like it. It's really the underwater look once you get in here with the shading of the green and whatnot. And the comforter again with a little bunny there. Got a little bunny cuddling with the bunny. The dusk child. I like it. And the crossroads. Ooh, an eerie feel. A little bit of a ghoul. Have the uh, have the crescent moon with the uh, backlit and the glowing eyes. All right, now we're getting into the white section instead of the green, apparently. We get the familiar. It looks familiar indeed. It looks familiar because I've seen it on the included, on the included extra graphic there. Sprout, look how pretty this is. So this was the same, is this a different author or is this the same author? I'm just kind of curious at this point. But um, yeah, pretty cool. And then pruning with the scissors and whatnot. And then light. It's got, this has got more of a watercolor feel to it. Very good detail too. Look at the shading on that. I don't know if that's a watercolor brush. It looks like a watercolor brush. Watercolor is really sort of picky when it gets to edges like that. It doesn't look like that, um, in my opinion. I think this could be a watercolor brush in Photoshop. Then we have the, we have the uh, standing stone. A bit of an outlander feel there, the standing stones. And a thaw, kind of cute. And this staff, I like it. Uh, and sickle, we have the sickle. And sort of a Lenormand feel there, isn't it? A bit of a Lenormand feel to it. And the staff, ooh, I like that. Ooh, I like the subtlety to that. Such a nice blend of green, blue, and brown, right? Sort of a uh, split complementary color scheme. I like it. And rest. Rest and relaxation. Uh, again, watercolor doesn't really do that. Um, I'm assuming that's a watercolor filter. But in either case, it's very pretty and I like it. I like it. So overall, I like this deck. It's pretty good. We're not even halfway done. We're, we're a little over half. Temperance. I got a feel of that. I got a Garden of Eden slash Cup of Wine feel to it. And cornucopia. Ooh, that is pretty. They did a good job. Look at the jumps on the grapes and the, the cone. Look at that. That looks really, really good. They did a bang up job on that. Ooh, the mountain too. Again, we're back to a little bit of a Lenormand feel here. I like the mountain. That's very pretty. They did a lot of good detail on that. Again, we have sort of the watercolor surroundings there. And the bee. I like it. It looks really good. And it's so, the, the bee doesn't have like the hard blacks and whatnot in it, like a traditional, you know, bee type of graphic would. So they just kept it soft and subtle. I like the consistency with the soft and subtle. And then we have storm and offering. So we have offering. Oh, look at that. We got a little bird seed and the bird's going to eat out of her hand. Hopefully not poke a hole in her hand. Ooh, ruins. Look how pretty that is. Look at the detail in that. I love that with the 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 uh, the grass detail and all of that and just the branches, how they did the branches. Very, very cool. All right, we got the bunny, the hare, and apparently we're going to start getting into the animals because we have the goat as well. And the shell. Oh, sort of interesting. Got a little pearl in the, the background there. Pomegranate. Looks very good. Ooh, the detail on that. The lighting. The little highlights on the pomegranate. Really did a good job. Man, there's been a lot of time on this. This looks really good. Roots. And wreath. Very subtle. Very subtle. I would have gone too dark with those roses. They did really nice. Really, really subtle. They kept the subtle theme. 
I think they did a fantastic job with the uh, the subtlety of that theme. Um, Briar and Autumn. Ooh, the transitions between those collars. Ooh, that looks really, really good. Let's zoom in. Let's see if we can see the veins. Let's sort of give it a gander so we can see the veins. Uh, not really, but you can see sort of the, not only the gradient, but they put a little extra detail in here and they put a little dot over here. So, I mean, you know, they really went the extra mile in here. This is not just crank it out. I mean, they spent some time. They got the lighting correct. They kept the subtleties. There was some thought and time put into this. Oath is pretty cool. Cut it. Ooh, the Samson and Delilah. Look at that. This little Samson theme there. We're going, look at that. I like that. Removing his power. And the mirror, how pretty is that? Uh, teeth? Uh, okay. And finally, we have the moon. We're back. Ooh, look at the subtleties on the moon. I like that. Look at how subtle that is. Look at the detail on the moon and then the clouds, the depth that she achieved on the clouds with the different layers and whatnot. That's a lot of, a lot of nice stuff. Overall, the artwork is spectacular on this. Um, again, here is the business card. This is uh, Natasha. This is Natasha Ill Illikink. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna butcher that. So there's the Facebook. Um, Instagram, Patreon, etc. So if you want to check out the Oracle author, there you go. All right, it's a sort of a final conclusion. Let me show you how bad the box is. Um, again, here's the back of the cards. There we go. Let me show you how bad the box is to get off. Again, we have a, uh, a high friction surface against another high friction surface. Uh, if you're going to use this on a regular basis, you probably need to hack this maybe um, remove remove the inner lining or something. I think it would make it a lot better. But let me show you just how bad it is to open this. Maybe it gets better over time. Maybe I'm just, you know, over-exaggerating this gets better over time. But uh, for, for right now, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm actually pulling really hard. Okay, there you go. So that's going to be your experience opening the box, unless you modify it. Or you just open and close it enough to where it just gets enough wear in there to eliminate some of the high friction stuff in there. Anyway, that's just my opinion though. All right, um, yeah, there we go. There is, again, the Compendium of Witches Oracle. I think it's very pretty. The variance in the green versus the white, I think is kind of unusual. Uh, another question I think a lot of people will have is, can you tell the difference between the, the white and the green? So let me give a little bit of a shuffle here and just sort of mix them in and see if there's any difference at all that I can sort of see. Um, the backs are gonna be exactly the same. And for the sides, I don't see any difference. I don't see any difference in the side. So no, I think it's gonna be a pretty smooth transition from green to white. Uh, you're not going to have any big discrepancies between there when you mix these up. Overall, I really like this deck. I think it is a knockout. I'm happy that I picked it up. Please hit like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.